Assalamu alaikum everyone Hope all of you are fine and we are going to test end-to-end -end IP ping between these two devices so here my Argus first of all we will configure my Argus 165 okay I'm going to the access and select SFP IP static okay because I'm using the SFP over here with a single mode fiber and the other end is connected on the JDSU over here you can see the SFPs are connected transmit and receive so we are going to just ping both of them and we'll configure over here we'll show you how to configure and here in SFP Ethernet data power down we will start it and this will be status okay and we'll configure the IPs over here press edit okay where we are pressing edit if you will select this small box over here and then you will press edit and you can see there is a VLAN if you need VLAN you can configure VLAN in some circuits we need VLAN so you can configure for that but right now I'm not using it over here so we'll select no VLAN and we'll go back and we'll configure an IP over here IP mode will be iStatic IP and the own IP address 64.11.10.2 will be my Argus IP and this is the net mask will be 255 at the end it will be 252 because we are using only two devices so subnet is correct and gateway IP this dot one is for my JDSU so this is a dummy IP you can use any of the IPs whatever you like so we'll go back and there is no signal right now so I'm going to run my JDSU HST 3000 so first of all we have to go to the home screen and you will find it 1G termination for 1G optical Ethernet so we we'll press OK and it will take some time to run so just bear with me here we go the our JDSU is ready right now and Argus is still waiting for the signal you can see it is in a yellow state still so it is searching for the signal still and over here we have to select layer 3 ping layer 3 IP traffic will be for RFC test and other tests and right now we need layer 3 ping so I'll press ok and it will take again some time to operate ok just hold on for that ok the device is ready now ok still you can see the Argus is not receiving any signal that is because in JDSU you have to turn on the signals for the laser so we'll press action and then we'll go to the laser on we'll turn on the laser and you can see it is green right now on Argus so we'll press start on the data okay and we'll make it ready test IP ping and we'll select IP you can edit it if you are using another IP I have already edited it before so we can ping it so I will try the ping right now it's pinging because the IP is already configured in JDSU we'll see if it is now. okay the tests are running right now and in Argus how to change the IP addresses you can go over here in the configure mode you can see these are the IPs you can press OK and you can change the IP addresses whatever you want okay it's very easy but it is quite different from Argus this is the destination IP which is the Argus 2.2 .2 and 252 is the subnet mask and default gateway is dot 2 so everything is over here in the configuration you can see this configure button and we'll press summary okay go back okay display you can ping it also you can see if you want to ping in JDSU you will press action and start ping now you can see the pings will start over here you can see the pings are going on and here in JDSU you can press status and test it and we will make a new ping IP ping you can set go into settings and you can make this size 11,000 it's running you can decrease it also and increase whatever the load you want to give it now we'll change it to 84 press ok and we'll ping it again 
so you can see the minimum maximum time is decreased now in this one and the millisecond is in the previous one is 11 just because there is a load so this 90 kb of load is going on and this one is without load so this is how you can ping each other or both devices end to end ping when you are using least lines and there are two services connectivities between the circuits then you can use this and this is the configuration you are going to use and if you want to stop one of the tests in Argus you will select one of them and then stop and finish and you can save the results if you want to otherwise you can cancel it and here in UDSU you can stop the ping stop now and you can save the results also save and clear history clear messages event logs also you can save IP configuration can be seen whatever the IPs you have configured so thank you very much for watching please like and share